Hello everyone. Eddie here. Spin tiles. Today, looking at the little ZAZ from Igor94. Fantastic little buggy. I say buggy because it's not really a truck. It has some wonderful little bonuses that go with it though. You see that it is very, very fun to drive. Trust me, I've been messing about with this. Default wheels or change wheel, chained wheels. Good chained wheels because we're going to be messing a bit. Now, that puts a driver in. As you can see him just in the front, which is quite cool. Utilities puts. Oh, come on. Swing around. Oh no, wrong button. That's the one. Utilities will put your standard fuel tank and repair points. That, I think, is a garage carriage. This one is a logging cart. I'll put that on. You can actually carry two points worth of logs in there, but it does make it a little top heavy. And this one is a beacon, which won't work with a logging cart for some reason. But I wonder, because let's go with the utilities. And shall we have the beacon? Will it work? Yes, it will. The beacon works with the utilities. <laughs> So we have it nicely set up. It's great little, great little mover this one. It doesn't like narrow deep rivers because where it's little exhaust is at the back, it does tend to get water damage very quickly when trying to climb out. And it doesn't like climbing out. Now. I have to try and remember now whereabouts the fuel is because I want to try and fill this fuel system up as first test in our little test work letting bounce over rocks and seeing how good it is is this thing is great fun to drive about because it really just loves going it's a little top heavy at times, especially if you load it up with logs, it doesn't like the logs, but it has a great advantage of being very narrow. And with the diff lock off, it is very maneuverable, so it is like one of the perfect scouting vehicles because you can get through most terrain, over most terrain, around most terrain, apart from narrow rivers for some reason. Really doesn't like the narrow rivers. But as you can see it's quite robust. Took some damage just now where it a tree but the rest of it hasn't damaged it. And it is great fun to drive if you're like like a truck that just literally you're bouncing around on and having to laugh with. Uh, that's not where I wanted to be at all but we found a cloaking point and the question is can I get out of the river the other side to get to it this is not good that tailpipe's going in again stick the front of the truck under as much water as you want don't affect it stick the exhaust under at the back and it really struggles with damage come on oh don't be defeated by a little bit of bank that's um oh, I'm, I'm sad now that's been dis that's defeated me sorry for the magic winch I'm up on the bank at least. Try not to go straight back in the water. Now if I go over there, is that going to be an easier, easier climb out? Ah, oh, this is where I normally get stuck and drowned. And there's no winch points on that. 
which is not a lot of fun. No, that's seriously bad now. Uh, having a moment. <laughs> Seriously, having a moment. I've come a completely different route to my normal crossing, and this is the normal crossing that it has trouble of. And now I've got myself in a right proper pickle. No, 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 no. Stay with it. Um, that may be an issue. <laughs> oh, that killed it. That killed it, didn't it? Sorry, <laughs> sorry, oh god, this is not the best ever demonstration. The wonderful abilities of Shawek. I managed to wreck it. Which is a shame, because it does so well. Let's take it for a burn through the woods instead. Down the trail. Give it a right proper thrashing down through there. And we'll encounter some mud. And it can cope with the mud. It doesn't like it, but it copes with it. It's like a little mud boat chugging its way through. But as I say, it's narrow enough but if you don't want to mess with the mud you can just drive off down the side quite happily avoiding it all and trying to avoid the trees at the same time come to your next mud you just drive around it again and this will be a test because it's one of those tricky water drops down the bank the other side. It's the only thing that I've found trouble with this thing is it doesn't like climbing banks. Especially if there's water around. This one should be easier because it's low enough to do. But then for the next tricky bit, it's finding a way across this blooming river. Because I must admit, I've given it a good old half a dozen attempts to get across this river, and I've not managed it yet. Come on, dig in and do. And it's one of these vehicles, even with the chain tyres on, that you kind of want to try out on the tarmac. And it's picking its way through trees, it's brilliant. Uh, avoid that bit of mud if we can. Come on, I said avoid. Not get one wheel stuck in it and be stuck there for ages. Come on, that's it, that's it. Now we're moving again. Now we're on the rock and roll. But I just, I'm kind of liking this one because it's a good little all-rounder. So you can carry two points of logs if you want to try a, a speed run. You can do repair, you can do fuel, you can do scouting. It's kind of got everything you want in it. apart from crossing this river there is there uh, any likelihood of me getting across here we can but try I'll tell you what, we'll stick it up into 
one plus and see if that helps because that will just give us maximum momentum then go on see now it looks taking serious damage and it's just not wanting to climb out come on diagonal now I'm not going to be able to get out before the damage takes me down I have some repair points available but maybe not enough go on you know you want to get out oh that's not good let's give me some repair points at least well, I'm not within winching distance of anything but I might be drive outable with some luck Come on. Maybe I can get to that tree. <laughs> oh, it so wants to get out. It's determined. See, something, you got to give it 10 out of 10 for trying, even though it's taking damage again. Can I get to a tree? Uh, not from there. And uh, we're gonna have to. Oop, wrong button. We're gonna have to use some more points and try and get to a tree from it. Oh, we've got to start the engine first. That'll be a pain. Can I reach a tree? Right, right. You gotta get out of here. No! Don't die! Oh, it's a little truck that could, but didn't, but it failed. But it wants to. <laughs> it so wants to. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll show you while we're in. Show you the logs on it. Let's quickly change out of this. Uh, that one can go, that one goes on. See, even the logging rack gives you gives you 100 repair points, which I think is clever because it's. You do need it, it's only a little. It's only a little beastie of a. ZAZ. But it's speedy, it's fast, it's scoutable, it goes where you need it to, it does what you want it to. It looks a little quirky, but sometimes the best vehicles do. And I was given the downloaded some vehicles this week and it came down to a choice of showcasing this one today or showcasing the SID Raptor. And I love the Raptor, don't get me wrong. But this one is such a giggle to drive. And it's such fun to try and do stuff. But as I say, you can do logs. And I've been trying to do speed runs with the logs, but I just can't get across that river. So I may have to find a route through the top of the map, or the bottom of the map, as the case may be, is the in itself. I may have to find a route up through this way to the objective with the log and do a speed run that way and then see if I can find another vehicle to beat it by going different routes but for a little wagon it's incredibly versatile and it is great fun to drive it's not quite as unstoppable as say the Land Cruiser or some of the other SID mods that are out there but for practical purposes I've actually been able to do things you can fuel, you can repair you can transport logs 
and you can skip. You probably can't tow much because it's not got a lot of a lot of oomph, but it wouldn't surprise me if it tows more than it looks like it can. So let's quickly load up with some logs. Let me show you that even with logs, it's still a bounce a little versatile. So. Of course it's got his own separate type of logs. Two points worth, so you'd have to do a couple of runs or four runs. But it still goes. It's still got the grunt, it's still got the speed. It becomes a lot more top heavy and a lot more bouncy. But it is a lot of fun to mess about with. Let's have a quick look through this way, see if we can go anywhere. Just for giggles. Trying to roll it in the first few seconds of having logs, that would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Uh, best route from here is probably that way. Oh, 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 no, look at that. Well, I kept a couple of logs in there. <laughs> Didn't quite keep the load, but I kept a couple of logs. So we'll take it for a bit of a trek in the woods. Show what he's capable of. Which, if I get trapped by these blooming twigs. Oh, that's the one addition that I've not enjoyed at the update. It's these fallen logs. Because they give you more hassle but more trouble than they really should for what they are. Oh, let's winch over them. As the saying goes, winching always works. See, look, put a winch on it, you just pull straight over it. Now, to me, that's a bit... If you can't get over it using drive, how does the winch make it that much easier? Seems a little wrong. But a trick in the woods is what we're up to now. And of course, you have the roof cam, which we'll need to align a little bit. Not wholly effective, but you do get some idea of <laughs> where you are from it. Probably not my best choice of position to try that in amongst all the trees. But it's great little truck for getting through places. This is driving up a tree. I could drive this all day, as you can tell. And it's got that really great little idle sound on the little burble. It sounds like a mo it sounds like a little motorboat. It sounds it sounds a very aquatic, as it were. Which is a shame because it well, should work better in streams if that was the case. But, you know, it doesn't like things to feet, and it is just getting stuck again by another silly little log. Logs and streams seem to be its downfall. That and being a little top heavy. But if you drive it carefully than I do, or more carefully than I do. Well, really. It should last you. It should see you through. It should get you through most situations. And, yeah. He says, getting it stuck on the log again. I shall leave it there. <laughs> and call this a day. Because I'm not going to fight that log again. There you go. The little ZAZ. Awesome little truck. Worth its weight in gold, most of the time. <laughs> I got, I got 94 made it. I put a link in the description to where you can get it from. Works on the currently updated version of the game. Excellent fun, excellent drivability, very versatile, and a great giggle. Thank you, I got great mod. Thanks for sharing it with us, and I shall see you all next time. 
Well, I may even do the SID Raptor because that is just as much fun. I might even do it on a new map. We'll see. See you next time, everyone. Have a brilliant day. Bye.